Hey everyone, in today's video, I want to show you how to create a modal in HTMX without any JavaScript at all. So what I mean is you can click a button to open a modal, we see some text, I can click outside of the modal and it closes. Also, if I click inside of the modal box, nothing happens, only when I click outside of the box, uh, does it close. So I'm not using any JavaScript directly here. Obviously, HTMX itself is built on JavaScript, but I did not write any JavaScript to achieve this. I achieved this with only HTMX using a trick that may be a little controversial, which I'll explain later in the video. So um, if you're interested in that, feel free to watch this video to learn what that is. So with that said, let's get into creating this example modal in HTMX. Okay, so before I start creating the modal, let me show you what I have already. So I have a very simple Flask app that just returns one template at the moment. And that template is called index.html. I have just a little bit of style information here so I can have the button appear in the center of the screen. So I'll show you what that looks like. I just have this open modal button here in the center. Doesn't do anything yet. And then I have a modal.html in my partials directory and it's empty because I will add some stuff in there. So let me start by creating the styles for the modal to get this to work because uh, since the modal like pops up and kind of takes over the screen, uh, it requires a little bit of style before anything will work. So there are two parts to the modal. There's like the modal background or overlay and then there's the actual like content for the modal. So the background is the thing that kind of covers the rest of the page. So you can't click on the elements of the page while you're looking at the modal. And then the content of the modal is what you actually see. So I'll point this out once you visually see it, but I just want to explain those two parts. So I'm going to start with the overlay. So this is the part that's going to cover the existing screen. So I'm not going to have any uh, text on my uh, main screen here. I'll just have the button. Um, but if you had some other content on your page, which is normal, um, the overlay will just completely cover all of that. And you can like blur it out so you can still kind of see the content or you could just completely cover it with a separate color, which is what I'll do. But uh, it's just a preference thing. And uh, as you uh, deal with modals online, you'll see the differences of the approaches. So here, um, I need to set this as position fix because it's not going to be a typical HTML element where it's rendered like in the order that it appears in the HTML. Instead, it needs to appear over everything, right? So for that, I need position fixed. And then what I can do is I can set left, to zero, meaning that it starts all the way at the left. I can put right as zero. That means it goes all the way over to the right. I should put a semicolon there and there. Uh, and then same thing with top and bottom. So uh, zero and bottom. So basically what this translates to is this modal overlay will cover the entire screen because these are the positions of the left, right, top, and bottom, right? So like if I made these bigger, then it would start like so many uh, units from the left side of the screen, but everything starts from zero. So it will cover the entire screen. Uh, if you're not too sure about that, you should look into how fixed positioning works. Another thing I'll do is I'll just set the Z index to be one. So it just covers everything. This isn't necessary in this particular example, but I'll just add it. Um, and then finally, I'll give it a background color so we can visually see how it covers everything. So I'll just make this gray. And like I said, uh, you can blur it out, give it like some opacity. That's what you typically see. But for our case, I'll just make it gray. Right. So that's the overlay. And then I need the box that has the actual modal content. So the stuff that the user is going to be looking at. So I'll create another class uh, for the background color here. Um, this could just be white. And then what I can do is I can give it some padding around the edges. So I'll give it like 20 pixels of padding. Um, and then I'll give it a width, uh, let's say 50% uh, width. And then uh, one other thing is I can also give it a border uh, so I can visually see where it ends. So um, we'll make it one pixel solid and then a black border. All right, so that's all the CSS I need for the um, modal, so the overlay and the actual content. So let me go ahead and put that in here. So um, I'll do div class, and then um, this will be modal overlay, right? And then inside of here, I need to put the modal content. So div class, and then this is going to be uh, modal content. And then um, we'll just say hello. Doesn't really matter what the content is. So I put that HTML in there. And just to verify that it's working, um, I see that the hello appears. We see the gray 
uh, background, the button is gone because the, uh, the overlay is covering the button. And really, I want this modal content to be in the center of the screen so I can do margin auto to get everything to center. So let me just try that again. So yeah, it, um, it centers there. And let's say 15% from the top and the bottom. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so that's good. So um, it appears like in the center, the hello, and um, we have the gray modal overlay here. Okay, so that's for the overlay. So now let's start introducing HTMX. So the first thing I need to do is I need to bring in the script for it. So I'll just copy and paste it up here. So this is the script for the uh, CDN link to HTMX. And then what I wanna do is I wanna remove this modal overlay and I wanna put it inside of modal here. So the idea with HTMX is as soon as I press the button, I want to send a request to get the modal text and put it somewhere. So let me, let me create an endpoint for the modal. So I'll just call this slash modal. It could also be like slash get modal, or it can be more specific to the information that the modal will actually have. So I'll just call this modal and then return render uh, template. And then um, this will be partials slash modal.html. Okay. So now in here, let's add the HTMX. So the default event on the button will be a click, so I don't need to add that. Um, but HX get is going to be slash modal. And then HX target is going to be a div that I haven't created yet. So I'm going to call this the modal container. So modal container here. And then I'm going to add an empty div called modal container, right? So HTMX is going to send a request to modal and it's going to put the content of that return. So the HTML and modal.html is gonna put it inside of this div here. So let's go ahead and try that. Let's go over, refresh the page. So we have the button here. If I click open modal, we see that um, the modal appears, we see the hello, we see the gray overlay. So this is great, um, but what if I wanna close the modal? So there are typically a couple of approaches that you can take. Um, you can add like a button in here. It can be like a close button, it can be a X. And if you click on that, um, it will close the modal. And then the other approach is if you click outside of the modal content, so like somewhere in the gray, but outside of the white, it will close the modal. So I'm going to implement the latter. So clicking outside of the modal content to close it. And the reason why I'm doing that is because if you can do the outside with HTMX, then closing from like a close button inside is very, very easy, right? It just follows the pattern that you would expect. So let me start by implementing that. So let's go over to modal. So the idea here to get this to work is I want HTMX to send a request to my server and the server will return nothing. So I'll explain this in a second, but let's start with the first part, sending the request. So when do we wanna send the request? Well, we wanna send a request when the user clicks, right? But not when they click inside. So first I'll show you what it looks like uh, for just a random click. And then I'll show you what it looks like uh, inside. So the HX trigger here that I'm putting on the modal overlay. So this is like the gray area and everything in it. I'm putting an HX trigger here called click. So this is gonna trigger when I click anywhere on the screen because the modal overlay covers the entire screen. And then I wanna call HX get, and then I'm gonna call this slash null. So what this is, is a route called null, and then I'll name this null, and it returns nothing. So this does nothing and it returns nothing. So why am I doing it this way? So first let me show you what it looks like and then I'll explain my thought process. So open modal here and then I click outside of the modal and we see it disappears. And I just realized I need to target something. So here in the modal overlay, I want to do HX target. So HX target and we wanna target the modal container. I wanna replace the contents of modal container with the results of slash null, which is nothing. So let me go ahead and do that again. So open modal, and we see hello here. And then if I click out, then the modal closes. So open, close, open, close. So notice I have this null here, and it sends a request to the server, and it gets nothing back, and it does no work. So why am I doing it this way? Because this is definitely a strange pattern, and I thought about like, if this is a good enough approach. 
So if you don't take this approach, then to close the modal, you would need a bit of JavaScript. And for me, I feel like if I'm using HTMX, I want to use it as much as possible. And even if the pattern becomes a little bit weird, I would prefer a slightly weird HTMX pattern over introducing just a little bit of JavaScript, even though the JavaScript is simple. And also I justify this because I think that it's normal in cases where you're deleting something to return nothing, right? So you send a delete request to your backend, your backend will do some work and it returns like nothing. And that tells HTMX that you have basically like removed something, right? So that's a typical pattern. Another typical pattern is you send a request to your server. There's no actual work being done, but you just return some HTML. So this modal is an example here. Like there's no actual work being done. I'm just returning the HTML here. So this null is like a combination of those two. Like I'm sending a request to the server, but there's no work being done and there's nothing being returned. So I feel like it does somewhat fit the patterns of HTMX and it allows you to do stuff like close a modal without using any JavaScript. So I definitely understand that's a controversial pattern. So let me know what you think of this pattern. I think it's kind of nice because even if you have to use null in multiple places in your app, you only need one null endpoint, right? So you don't need to create a new endpoint every time you want to do nothing and return nothing. You just need one. And then you can have like a million places in your HTML that use HTMX and they can call null, meaning to do nothing and return nothing in cases where like you're triggering some event. So let me know what you think about that. That's the approach that I took here. Um, but Let's go back here and refresh. If I open the modal, notice that if I click inside of the content, it closes as well. And that's not what I want because maybe I have some buttons in there um, or something that the user can interact with. I don't want to close the modal if they're clicking inside of it. So to handle that, I can go over to modal.html and I just need to update the HX trigger part. So here, what I need to do is after the click, I'm going to say target and then not an equal, but a colon, and it's going to be the name of the overlay, right? So really I can do dot modal overlay. It's a CSS selector, right? So the idea here is it's listening for a click event, but it's only going to respond if that click event happens directly on the selector that follows. So only on the modal overlay by itself. Any elements inside of the modal overlay, so any children, won't trigger the event because it's only going to be listening to things that happen on modal overlay directly, not any of its children. So if I go back here and refresh, click open modal, now I can click inside of the modal all day and nothing happens, but as soon as I go outside of it, it closes, right? So that's the trick to get it to uh, work outside, right? And the idea is like you have all this empty space that represents the modal overlay, right? So clicking in all that empty space will close it. But as soon as there's something else there, like another HTML element, which this white modal box is, then nothing will happen. So that's the trick there. So that's it for this video. Uh, that's all I wanted to show you. It's just really simple how to create a modal with HTMX only. Like I said, let me know what you think about the null endpoint. Um, otherwise, if you have any questions about anything I've done here, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.